Hello, and thank you for watching this video. This will be our presentation on solar powered air conditioning. My name is Kennedy, and I also worked with Abraham and Serena. Air conditioning, especially here in Las Vegas, accounts for most of the electrical demand during the summer months. This high demand on our electrical grid causes consumers in the Las Vegas area to have a high power bill. This is only because everyone in Las Vegas is pulling on the grid all at the same time. So our power company results in charging you more during those hours. For this project, we teamed up with a startup company here in Las Vegas, Nevada that specializes in solar powered air conditioning units. Our goal was to team up with this company in order to help reduce your power bill. And now it's time to talk about the air conditioning units that Airspool provides. This is a hybrid unit. This simply means that this unit is able to run off of solar energy as well as the electrical grid. But this is an intelligent power management system, meaning that it will prioritize solar energy over the electrical grid. Inside of the system includes an indoor unit. Your indoor unit will be providing you with that cool air during those hot summer days. There is also an outdoor unit. This outdoor unit will release all that hot air that was inside of your home to the outdoors. And lastly, we have the solar panels. Each solar panel is almost capable of providing you 600 watts of power. Depending on the size of your home and how many indoor units you would like, Airspool is able to provide you with the correct amount of solar panels that you need. Just a reminder, our goal was to build upon Airspool's air conditioning units and redirect energy to a battery that was not being used. So some of the challenges that we faced consisted of having to reverse engineer the power circuit boards that were already on the air conditioning units. This is quite difficult because we weren't able to get in contact with the engineers who originally built the air conditioning units. We successfully came up with an idea that would redirect the extra solar energy not being used to a battery. In the top right corner, we see a block diagram of our entire system. We have our grid, our AC current monitor, our air spool unit, our Atmega 328 PV, our battery, our MPPT controller, our relay, and our solar panels. So you may be wondering, how do all these components work together? Well, first, our AC current sensor module will detect current that is flowing from the grid to our air conditioning unit. This sensor module will be in communication with our Atmega 328 PB controller, which in turn is programmed to control a relay. This relay is connected to our MPPT controller, which is then connected to our battery. Our relay will then remain open if our AC current module is sensing current coming from the grid, and it will remain closed if our current module is not sensing current coming from the grid. When our relay is closed, our battery is beginning to be charged using solar energy. The MPPT controller will just notify us on the state of our battery, meaning is it fully charged, is it beginning to charge, or is it maintaining its charge successfully. At the bottom of the screen in figure 4, we see on the left hand side our prototype and our final design on the right hand side. The final design is the exact same thing as I described in our block diagram. In conclusion, this design solution successfully reroutes excess solar power to batteries. When it comes to future work, we are looking into the possibility of adding an inverter to the battery pack. This will allow users to use the battery to either power their air conditioning unit, to power things in their homes, or possibly power their RVs. Thank you for watching. The next slide will include Airspool's contact information if you would like to learn more.